The guy down there is walking in the street with a machete, no cap. No. Yo. What is that? Oh, yo, look at this door. There's literally something going down, two doors down. I think he's talking to the guy driving the car. We need to get out. We need to get out. channel hope everyone is having an amazing Ooh. day and today or should i say tonight the buds are going to be attempting an overnight challenge different than ones that we have ever done before because today we are going to be attempting to spend the night in the worst reviewed nastiest most disgusting hotel in our area it's not even a hotel technically it's a motel oh we so have the motel hotel so even huddier than a hotel. But before we head over to the motel, we gotta see what we're getting ourselves into. So we're about to go over and read some of these reviews. Cause some of these reviews, man, Let's just say there's no review above two stars. Almost every single one is one star or less than one star. I didn't even know that was possible. Just take a look at some of these pictures of this place, man. What? Bro, that looks like someone's living room. What? That looks, uh, I don't know, man. Oh, Whoa. you can already see mold right there. That junk looking crusty, boy. That toilet looking like one hit I already used it and forgot to flush. But not only did he forget to flush, he just completely missed the toilet and went all over the bathroom. Yo, no. Yo, look, look. No. The window's literally boarded up outside. You see that? Oh my, and then look at that. There's just a hole in the door. Literally, there's no door now. There's just a hole. Reach in. This place is terrible. There is no electricity. No professional customer service. It's very filthy. There's mold. There's stuff being sold in the area. If you have health problems, do not come to this place. It will make your health further. Like it did mine. I had to go to the hospital. This place is filled with coronavirus. Oh my. This place needs to be shut down immediately customer service is racist very unprofessional the owner of this place is never even seen there the owner and people who work there look like they're on drugs as well there's children in this motel which are not safe this place must be shut down and under new management oh my bro that was the first review literally zero stars on that review not even one not even one zero gross building gross employees it's better to sleep outside dang Oh my. I have to do a little overnight challenge outside. COVID died here. You know it's dirty when COVID died there. If COVID died there, COVID caught a case of the motel. Soon as I opened the door, the cockroaches greeted me at the door. Well, at least they're kind of nice, you know? They're yeah, like, at least you know, yeah. you're going to be staying at our place. They're getting bolder too. I only seen roaches on the floor. Now they're in the smoke alarm, on the bed, and in the refrigerator. I left my cup of juice down for a few minutes and went to drink it and felt something large and fuzzy go going down my throat. <laughs> oh, no, this can't be real. No. I passed out. I swallowed a roach and almost died. The rats are as big as a small baby. And Yo. Yo. <laughs> there's no way. Why did they give them two stars? They gave them two out of five stars. There was no bed frame. There's electrical problems. When something breaks, it'll take forever to fix it. It is a paradise for pimps and dealers. I didn't show Ricky any of these reviews and this is him seeing it for the first time. So what do you, what do you think? At first I was like, it's gonna be nasty, but I didn't know I was gonna have to worry for my safety. Yeah. All right, but now it is time to head over to the motel. Let's go. No way. Oh my. Yo, there it is. Oh boys, this is sketch. I don't even feel safe filming. Oh my gosh. Oh, chill, chill, chill. Keep it low, keep it low. Yeah, I don't know if we should stay here, bro. Oh my. We have to do it. We have to. Bro, it's too bad, bro. We got Evan, our cameraman, coming. And we go going to wait for him to pull up and get his reaction. But Evan has a Mustang, and that thing is going to stand out there, bro. Shoot, bro. I honestly don't know if we should stay there. Evan just pulled in. Yo, bro. Bro, I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Bro, bro that's what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. bro. I don't know if I can leave my car here, bro. Bro, they were like staring at me. I don't know, bro. Bro, they were staring at us too, bro. I don't know, man. Boys, this is insane. Yo, bud. Boy, I don't know, bro. <laughs> bro, that's exactly what I, I was like, bro. There's no way I can be that bad in person. It's worse in person. Bro, I don't think we can go in there like for our own safety. It's not key. The guy down there is walking in the street with a machete, no cap. He's just swinging a machete around. Yo, there really is a guy down there just with a machete. Yo, what, what do we do, what do we do? Well, we're, we're gonna regroup and get to you in a couple minutes. 20 minutes later. 
So the game plan is we contemplated for a little bit and we have decided that we're just gonna go in there, man. We gotta send it, you know. We thought about it. It is very risky. It is actually way more risky than going into an abandoned place. I honestly I don't know if we're gonna be doing a little overnight challenge. We might just be doing a little couple hour challenge and dip it. But we're sending it because that's what IBP does. This is the Walmart down the road from the motel. We came here to get some supplies before we go in there. And there's seven cops, eight. There's eight cops outside of this Walmart. Are you right in the front? Hey, what does it say? No room is available, apparently. All right, so the last place that we went to, we walked up to the door to get a room, and there was actually no one even in the lobby. It just... The lobby was locked, and then yeah. this lady came up to us, and she was like, yeah, normally people like stay here for a long time. Yeah, there was no rooms available at that place. It was looking huddy, so if you guys want to see us, go back to it in another video, possibly drop a like once a room opens up, but currently there was no room, so we had to pull up to a new one. Location unlocked. Motel number two. This one is rated one star as well, so uh, it's looking pretty huddy, I can't Bro, deny. Everywhere we pull up, everyone's just staring at us, like walking, like I feel like something's about to happen. Like, hopefully this place has a room available though. Yeah, the room is right there. I'm gonna give you a little preview of what the room's gonna look like before you get in. Uh, yes, I'd like to book a room. I have to go to the budget inn to, okay. to, to book a room at the economy inn. Oh, he hung up on me. What is this, bro? So, so there, was a, there was a number on the door over there, and it said, call this number to book a room. So I called the number, and the guy says, yo, where are you right now? And I told him, I'm at the Economy Inn trying to book a room. And then he says, actually, uh, you have to go across the street to the budget inn. I don't know why. I don't know why, but this is sketchy, boys. Man said to come to the budget inn. We come to the budget inn. Look at the lobby. Look at it. You see that? Straight boarded up. All right, let's just go quick. We're trying to get uh, for, for over there. Yeah, we only have one room left. It's $60 a day and a $10 key. How many people is it? Just it's us. us. Yeah, yeah. 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 I need uh, somebody's ID. Okay. Mine's in the car. All right, so if you need super early, like you say. Yeah, I'm sure you do. 107. 107? Right, you're not going to this door. Okay. Right? And I'll come out and give me the key. I'll give you tonight. Uh, Stay inside? Yeah, you don't want to be hanging outside. The spot on the map here. Right, yeah, yeah. Right. Definitely. Now, there are people all over there. I don't know the same owner, but I don't know. I never did that. Yeah. You guys. Okay. Definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Right. We'll come. Bro, what was that, bro? We pulled up to that place. Front door was boarded up. Guy came out to give us his key. He did not look like he worked there, bro. Uh-uh. Bro, he looked like he just woke up from, I don't even know. And the other person that like co-owned the place or like was working there, she warned us about the, the place that we're going to right yeah. now. Literally like, the owner that was upstairs, you can hear it in the clip. While we're about to go over back to this other place, she goes, yo, just stay inside. You'll be okay, but just stay inside. There's people just standing around outside. Oh, And now a word from our sponsors. Have you ever been in a sketchy situation like those boys where you felt it just wasn't safe to access the internet in fear that your private information might be leaked or get hacked by a hacker? Like this guy? Well then look no farther than today's video sponsors ExpressVPN. If you guys don't know what a VPN is, it stands for Virtual Private Network. And pretty much this thing will keep your information safe from outside hackers and a lot more. Let me tell you, when you use it and you turn it on, your information will be safe and secure whenever you're connected to an unencrypted connection. Big guys like Elon Musk and Joe Biden just got hacked on Twitter, so imagine how easy they could hack you if they wanted. Exactly. That's why you should get a VPN, my friends. Okay? You want your stuff getting hacked by that guy? Bro, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to hack you. Why are you using a VPN to make it so hard? I personally like to use ExpressVPN when I'm kicking back, sitting back, Netflix, and chilling. Bro, you're not supposed to show down there. And you know, I'm trying to watch a movie, but the US version, it just isn't doing it for me. So I just set my location to the UK, and now I can watch Crazy Rich Asians on Netflix. And then I can stream all the different movies that they have over there. Because um, uh, I heard that they have almost twice the amount of Oscar-winning movies over there than the US. So, uh, 
That's, that's just me though. So if you guys want to do that and not get hacked, then I recommend clicking the link in the top of the description and go to expressvpn.com slash Boys to find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free. Now back to the sketchy situation. Ah, I give up! This VPN makes it so hard! Oh, what is this, bro? And all those guys came out and like walked this will go you see that? We just walked up in here and boys just by the looks we are already seeing bugs crawling around We're already seeing movement when there should be no movement. It's like look on this wall, bro. Look, 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 right look at that Baby cockroach. We got another one right here. We got the mom up there. Look, look at all these crawling down here. Yo, I'm Best putting game. the gloves on hey. as I can't be touching that crap, bro. Did you touch anything in here? Instant COVID. And something I noticed when we walked in, bruh. Look at this, right here. Look at this. You see that? That's the thing that you put over the lock. Like that? So it doesn't open? It straight broke off. Probably. Because someone tried to break in this room. No cap. A good thing that I did notice is they got an air freshener right here. Probably like five years old and crusty, but at least they're trying, you know? The door doesn't even fully close. You, if this thing breaks off, you're stuck in here. And also guys, we brought a black light that we're gonna use in a second, but pretty much the black light just shows like bacteria and stuff. So. It shows everything that the naked eye can't see. Literally all the germs, all the feces, all the piss. We're just turning off the lights and once you turn that black light on, that's when the real stuff gets exposed. Let's, let's see what else we can find with just our normal eyes. Someone farted a little too hard when they were sitting in that chair. Someone just ripped cheeks. Literally ripped cheeks and ripped the seat. Got a little bud rolling around. They're everywhere. Just in case you get a little late night snack and you go, just you could reach anywhere, just grab something. Chances are you'll pick up a cockroach. Let's check the sheets, man. Honestly, oh, sheets are looking not too bad. Yeah, without the black light. Yeah, with True. the black light. Wait, wait, you gotta, you gotta peel apart the, oh, that's yeah. what I saw. Oh, not too crabby. Honestly, the mattress might be the cleanest thing in here. That's Actually, surprising, yeah. that is surprising. Yo, yo, another one, another one. They just keep coming. Oh my, big boy. Yo. Let's check this side, boys. Let's check this side. Oh, wait, wait, what is that? A little, a little burn hole. Definitely. You know why? You know why I think it looks clean? Is because the whole thing is so dirty that it's just evenly dirty. Like, I feel like this was supposed to be white at one point, and it literally looks like full of sweat and nastiness. Check the car. We're fine. Yo, microwave looking pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie. Oh shoot, I gotta give them here. They got that luxury soap, boy. Yo, they have a lot of soap, I'm not gonna lie. You need a lot of soap when it's this dirty. <laughs> Going in the bathroom now. This is where I expect to see some stuff. Before you even get into the bathroom, bro, are you are you not seeing this? The, the, the door is like chipping away. There's like a, like a hole right there, and then there's a little dent right there. This is there. There was a hole right here. They patched it up, buddy. Look at this right here. Look, the lock's about to fall off. Let's zoom in. Oh my. Yo, the sink is barely going on. Look at that. Oh, another one. Dude, they're everywhere, bro. Look at this, look at this right here. I just start shaking it, all the bugs come out of the corner. Oh, yep. No, not even kidding. Not even kidding. Bud just came out. Yo, honestly, the bathroom looking like the cleanest part. I expected it to be the dirtiest, but honestly, like I would take a shower and that shower is that clean. It is now time for the black light. This is gonna really expose what we can't see. We can already see a lot of stuff. There's a lot of bugs, a lot of crap, but apparently the black light is supposed to bring all that stuff out even more. Oh yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Hi, sisters! Ah! That four mil merch though. Ooh. Yo, what is this? What is this crap? Oh. oh, yo, look at this door. You see that? It's like all like dripping. Yo, look up here. You see that? You know what that might be? You know what that might be? We don't even need to say it. You guys know what that is. One, two, yo. Oh, this is oh, the yeah. AC. So when the AC's blowing, it's blowing all of that right up in your face. You're just breathing all that what in. A, what is up with your face, yo? What do you mean? <laughs> you gonna, you gonna zoom in, bro? So why is his face orange freckles? Wait, let me see yours. Let me see yours. Bro, look at that crap. Oh, what's what? on your lip, bro? You look like a clown. How? Your nose is all orange. Got some stains on the side. Is it really? Bro, your hair's green. No. Teeth are white, but okay. you got some dandruff in the hair for sure. Dude, the bugs are cold inside there. Look, there is. Yeah. Surprisingly clean. Yo, the seat pretty clean. I'm not gonna lie. Should we, should we check the bed? The bed? Gotta check the bed. That's where everything is. Oh, yeah. there's a little bug down there. <laughs> you see him? Oh, oh, the, yo. Yo, what is that? Yo, what is that? Yo, what is that? What? What is that on the pillow? Yo, what is this? Get their normal light. 
Oh my, you can't see it with the normal light. But ready? see that. I think we all know what that is. Oh, what is this crap? What is that? What is that? We all know what that is. Man. Go on. Check out our bed. You want to look the bed? Oh yeah, yeah. key. Boom, boom. Oh, yo. Yo, what is he going to <laughs> A lot of extracurricular activities going on in this hotel. They say the bedroom is where the magic happens, but it's under the bed. That's where it actually happens. Oh, yo, yo, no. Yo. What is that? What is that? Yo. Bro, I'm honestly surprised at how, because I've seen these videos before, I'm honestly surprised how clean this is. Not much blacklight stuff popping up from the outside. Definitely not looking good, but I'm waiting for that jackpot. That might be it right there. Yo, <laughs> yo, yo. Look at all of that crap. Something went down right on this wall and it wasn't pretty. Honestly, all these bugs and all this crap in here is scary. But what's the scariest part, bro, is what is going on outside. There's definitely drug deals going on. People pulling up, handing each other money, bags going in and out. Like, we've literally seen it. Yeah, bro. Evan's keeping watch for us now because it's just kind of like so sketchy out there. Like, there's so many cars pulling up and just Standing here for a second, someone goes out from one of these rooms, gives them something, and then the other car leaves, and then they go back in the room. All right, we're gonna try to do the rest of this, and I don't think we're doing overnight challenge in here, because I do not feel safe. Don't, don't flash one. Yeah, don't shine. No, 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 don't, don't shine. shine. Stop shining. We, we, we need to get out. We need to get out. We need to get out of here, bro. There's literally something going down. Two doors down. There's literally yelling. You hear him going, y'all, y'all need to get out of here. Y'all need to get out of here. Not to us, but two doors down. Oh, I, I don't know, bro. It's so scary. I want to get out. Oh, yeah, let's do this. Hurry. Oh, oh this is yo, yo, that's nasty. No way. Oh my God. Even the yo, bowl. the bowl's glowing. Look at the bowl. Look at the bowl right here. I think he's talking to the guy driving the car. Bro, what the heck? He's like right there. No, bro, are you serious? Okay. Bro. I'm trying to calm down. Mm -hmm. He's literally like two doors down, pointing down. I don't think he's talking about us. We need to, we need to get out right here. All right, we just hurry up and just like shine it around yeah. and we're dipping. There's nothing here. Yo, the whole bathroom is so clean. Literally, look, turn off the light. Look at this. It's so clean. Look at the toilet. There's literally the least amount of stuff on the toilet. There's nothing. Yeah. Boys, we gotta get out. I literally hear yelling. We've been in some sketchy situations you guys know us we get we put ourselves in literally the sketchiest position possible but this is definitely up there just because of the unknown like you don't know like what's gonna happen i'm know? not scared of the germs or the bugs or anything it's literally what's going on outside should we wait for the motion and calm down and i don't know and and, so, and someone keeps saying this yo they in there right there but we don't know who they're pointing at or who they're talking about and it literally sounds like it's like a couple doors down I don't know, but do we leave when they're right outside the door? We've only been in here for literally maybe an hour and stuff has been going down every single minute outside. Like people going in and out, peeking through the window. It's one of the most sketchy situations I've ever seen. Don't forget the overnight challenge. It's not safe here, so we're literally dipping out right now. We're putting the camera on and we're filming on the phone. So stressful in there. I've never been so anxious in my life. Literally, not one minute in there was I like, all right, boys, we can just film. I'm just glad we're out. You know, forget no? doing overnight challenge in that place or the other place, bro. No, uh, you, no, no way, bro. Uh -uh. Drop a like just because we went to those places and literally risked, risked a lot right there.